Okay, her unmuted. Phil, I brought our box. See, yours got to be yelling. Nothing Oh, you did yours just now. And you did mine. They spell my name right? It's going back and forth. All in the range. Look at them. They are good. I heard it. I heard it. We can just find the. We have a little bit of a. Yeah. Great color. Thank you, guys. Well, isn't it great? They're really good. It's good. Yes. Mine's at fun. The hard part of this is this again during the channel. Yeah. Um, so just let the public speak. Oh, okay. Take their questions, write them down. Okay. And then send to them. They can voice their concerns and make sure they hear what they want. All right, we're going to get going at seven o'clock. Um, as vice chair, I am going to um, leave this meeting until Greg Zinder, our true chair, can come. He has a meeting. Um, and I will open this with a public hearing. On SP 23001 LJE properties, it's a three lot subdivision at Seven Lords Lane, map one, lot 29. Is there anyone here from the public who'd like to be heard on this matter? We do have it on the agenda for later as well, so we will also answer your questions then. No? We're here to listen. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Um, anyone? No, fine. We will close the public hearing at, wow, it's still seven o'clock. Look at that. Okay, lightning speed. Um, we will now begin our regular meeting. Uh, if people want to and are able, uh, you could please rise and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, we have nobody on Zoom, so I don't think we need to go through who is here. We do need to say that um, you were still officially an alternate, but we will empanel you for the meeting as a voting member tonight. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for your service. Okay, public comment. Is there anything that is not on the agenda that anybody would like to comment on? No, okay, we will close public comment and move on to approval of meeting minutes of March 1st. Um, anybody in the planning board have any comments on it? I actually read them, I found nothing. Great, if there's no amendments or corrections, I will entertain a motion. So moved. Thank you, in a second, thank you, Beth. Second for second. Bill. All, um, all in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, all abstaining, great. Passes unanimously. And we are on to new business blocks. It's just moving right along here, isn't it? That's great. Keep going. <laughs> okay, new business. So first up is um, SP 23-002, Brantwick <laughs> County Playground Modification. Uh, and we have, Neil, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Neil Raposo with Civil Consultants uh, here on behalf of Berwick Academy. Uh, this project is uh, a fairly minor modification to, to the existing site. Um, it was for the, uh, the existing uh, playground in basketball court area uh, that's uh, just on the side of the bus lanes. I don't know if you're familiar with campus, uh, just, just to the side of the existing bus lanes there. Uh, it's going to consist of uh, taking out some of the pavement that's, in, that's uh, included in the uh, basketball area, as well as pavement in the main uh, entryway uh, that, that enters the school. Um, and it's going to be uh, several areas of new kind of sweeping walkways, and then uh, do, uh, quite a few play uh, elements that are uh, a little more uh, a little more in tune with with what you know the kids are looking for nowadays, and what's been kind of shown to to be a more uh, you know more appropriate play area. 
Uh, so this is our site plan that's that's to be approved, and this is kind of the more basic plan, which shows here's what you have now, here's what's uh, what's proposed to go in there. Uh, the only real engineering that was that was done on this was just uh, determining uh, the drainage that was required to uh, to drain the uh, the rubberized surface that they're going to have at the bottom of the slide area here. One of those porous uh, rubber rubber surfaces, so you actually do pour it on. And then the water just uh, infiltrates through it. We're collecting that. It's all going into the same uh, same stormwater system that's out there now. Uh, there really wasn't uh, a, an appreciable change in the cover as far as impervious area on the site. Uh, it was more shifting things around and uh, and placing new new play elements in the area. Um, so I'll just for everyone's information, I also we brought uh, some colored colored renderings of the playground. Just so you guys could kind of get a get an idea of, of what it would look like once it's completed. Um, so currently, this this area where we have this entrance that's coming in, this is just that paved entrance that comes all the way up to the school, and then this is basically filled out uh, in the existing state, and that's just the basketball court. They may they maintain they're going to maintain you know one half court here. They continue to play basketball, and then the rest of it is just kind of enhanced uh, enhanced play features and uh, for the most part it tries to incorporate a lot of the existing features a lot of the existing trees are going to remain what they have out there um, this is kind of a this is a view as you're coming into the hey, entrance Neil, here you, I'm sorry can you do a favor can you sort of put your easel over there so okay. the people sitting here can also uh, we can see it I think and we also have all of them in a notebook and that way we can share yeah. thank you sorry. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> <laughs> this almost makes me want to donate for <laughs> you see here I mean really just put these together um landscape architect uh you know got these renderings together so we could come in and, and show you know what we what they envision this to, to look like once everything is is built out and, and the improvements are made. Uh, so this is kind of the main entry coming in from the bus uh, from the bus lanes, and this is where that former uh, walkway just kind of came right into the building here. And now we have more of a meandering entrance, a lot more uh, a lot more playscape features. It really breaks up the breaks up the landscape out there, it's kind of a more uh, you know more inviting area for the kids. Um, looking at this section here, uh, here's that entrance we were looking at from before. Uh, so this is how it kind of comes through the site. Uh, there's a new, new slide feature here that can be built up uh, so the kids can use that. And it's not going to be as much, you know, hard scape you know, structure things to climb on. A lot more natural features that are, that are going to be utilized at this point. Yeah, this is uh, part looking at the, the, where the existing basketball court is. Uh, they're, they said they're going to be trying to utilize as much, you know, natural. Uh, Natural features as they can. So this this is kind of a total of treehouse area that's going to go around the existing tree. It's going to protect as much of the of the natural uh, environment as they can out here. Um, I think that's next the basic the basic rundown. Now it's not a very not a very complex project, not a very involved project as far as you know, the engineering design goes. Uh, we did we were required to. Uh, submit a notification to the DEP for an exempt uh, uh, an exempt expansion to the school just because of the change on the site plan. It already had a site location approval, uh, so we've been uh, we already submitted that to to the state, and they had no they had no problems with it. So, as far as every all the other permitting goes, we are uh, good to go as long as we have planning board and code enforcement approval. Well, okay. any questions? Would anybody on the planning board like to comment? Are you sick? I have one quick question. Can you point out any features that might be um, ADA accessible? That might be accessible. Uh, the uh, the main portion. Just out of curiosity, this one might be able to be speaker. As far as the the ADA portion. Uh, the entrances and everything were kept uh, were kept ADA accessible, uh, so we have the you know the slopes and and 
uh, the grades to make it ADA accessible coming through, uh, similar to what it was before. And then it was also an effort made to make sure that this, uh, the entrance all the way up here to the, uh, to the slide was accessible. And then uh, from there, it's, it, would, uh, it would require assistance to get through. There's a, there's a large, uh, kind of, it looks like a culvert pipe. It's a large, a large opening to crawl through on this side. Uh, but they wanted to be able to, to get people up to the top of this uh, slide and then with assistance, use it from there. Is, yeah. is there, hmm, are there any features that are specifically made for kids who might have a disability? That, it, it wasn't presented to us that way when okay. the landscape architect came through. They basically said, we want to make sure that they can access, they can access all the features via the walkway. And then the features themselves, I'm not sure about the about the ADA accessibility on the features. So, yeah. All right. All right. No other comments? So with the opportunity, I believe, to vote straight on this to approve it, yes? Correct. Okay. Um, so I suggest, I, if no one has any comments, and it seems to me at least reasonable, um, would anybody like to make a motion for approval? I make a motion for approval. Thank you. A second. Seven. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, any opposed? No, any abstains? You passed it on unanimously. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. In and out. The board can also, at this time, um, review and approve the funding to pass if you'd like to. Uh, is there any reason to wait? There's no reason really to wait. They're in your binders. So. They're in your binders. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Let's do that now so we don't have to do it later and that way we'll get it all done at once. Am I going to find it right after the application? It should be in the front. Yep, it should be in the front. It's a letter from the police chief, a letter from the fire chief, and then it's finding back or backwards or yep. next page. Is that your finding back? No, I have a uh, police chief, fire chief, and then um, meals and finding the back. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Did everybody else find theirs? Yes. Okay, why don't we take a well, quick second them? You want them? to review. Mm -hmm. Do you have findings of that? Yeah, it's in here. Okay. Yeah, you know, why are you not? Did you have to um, pay some of that show? Yes, okay. it's like 250 on the Yeah, so I'll tell that. Okay. Okay. We can do that later. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Um, who fills in the amount of the shorty? The shorty? It's great you asked that question because I just learned this myself. Okay. So what a shorty is, is the amount of the site plan, how much it would cost to do the site work as a whole. So you take out all the playground equipment and those features yep. and that's how they get that number. And that number came directly from Burroughs Academy. Okay. The whole project cost is five fifteen or so, and that is two hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Um, and do we need to do anything? Else? You need to motion to approve the funding for right. tax and conditions, and right. then we have um everything for you guys to sign. Great. Uh, do I have a motion? Yes. Okay. If you're ready, another sec. We'll get this done. Mm -hmm. The conditions are also laid out on the sand, and I just read through them, and they are all there. So, okay. yeah. Thank you. Second. Second. Bill, does Zach and Bill show today? Okay. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Pass unanimously. Thank you. So, Zach. Okay. I have the plan. So, we're just going to take a quick break for a second. We're going to have the planning board. Members sign the plans and sign the findings of fact. You'll sign them as the chair. So we'll have to fix that on the. Somebody just uh, annotate it. Sure. Let's bring that up.
I have the copy right there. It's actually over here in this one. Okay, you can find the thing over there. Uh, her sheet is time for it to be Great. Right. Here next. Yeah. I don't know. I can find. There's. Oh, there's a Sorry, you're right. Yep. So this is what I'm going to do. I need to send this over to you. And can you find it and just send it back to me tomorrow? Yep. Okay. It's very brief. It just means around the side. We'll fix it. Do you have any questions for the board? Okay. You know, they make special accessible pieces of playground equipment now. You might want to pass that on. Just, just saying. Just saying. Zach, have you signed? Not yet. Okay. Is it <clears throat> Of the area. <laughs> Why is that exciting? I just want to let the board members know that we have a gentleman in the room who has applied to join the planning board as an alternate. It's Aaron. He's sitting over here. Yeah. <laughs> See how much fun we're having? Oh, yeah. He's like, right? <laughs> so he's here just checking in. Welcome. Mm -mm. Um, while we're doing this, uh, I'm going to tell it. 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 You guys can miss the last Dude, one. Do four. How many plants are here? Four. Two, three. Plus there's a repetition minor. Do you need four or the three? I don't need five or anymore. Okay. Who's signing? 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 Everyone's last one was next same. Are we ready? Pretend this Okay. Are you David? I am Austin. Austin. All right. Austin, and you're representing uh, I am a Uh yeah. So the um the applicant is actually Scott Holland. Um oh, the owner of the property is Mr. Springer, gotcha. but he will be selling the property. All right. So um we are moving on to SP-23-003. David Springer, a three lot subdivision on Lord's Lane Extension. Um, for anybody not familiar with it, uh, Lord's Lane crosses over 236 of it heads, I guess that would be east, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that area has been already cleared out um, last year. So hold on. Will we... Dan, are you coming back? Okay. Well, hands, but it's not loud. Yeah. Okay. All right. Would you like to, um, Austin? Thank you. Did, did you get his name? Yep. Okay, great. Yeah, so uh, as I stated, my name is Austin Fagan with BH2. I'm here representing Scott Holland. Um, the property on Lord's Lane uh, is currently one lot that was purchased out a few years back. Um, Hold on, sir. Ms. Chair, yes. it's actually Lord's Lane extension. And because we have two Lord's Lane projects here yep. today, you're going to have to specify that. Okay, Lord's Sorry Lane, that. Uh, no worries, no worries. Uh, so Lord's Lane extension. Um, Lord's Lane extension is a roadway that was uh, redesigned and approved by the town uh, a few years back. Um, it was built and uh, reviewed by myself and um, all reviews were analyzed by the town um, and it was the roadway. Uh, as you can see from this plan, 
Uh, we're proposing three separate lots from the one existing lot. Uh, the only reason it's before the board is because more than uh, two lots are being split in a five-year period, uh, which triggered subdivision law. There's no additional infrastructure that'll be created as part of this project. Uh, it's very straightforward as uh, subdivisions go, um, but I'd like to get any initial issues the board may see out of the way and uh, be happy to answer any questions that you have tonight. Uh, with that being said, I'm taking now. Thank you. Um, I, I have a, sorry, does anybody on the planning board have a question besides me? Or do you want to, I'll stall while you look at the plan. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like on this plan yeah. submitted, which is I assume existing, there are some buildings in the corner. Are those, this is your proposed. I, so you have the survey, I think. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, so there were some buildings uh, prior to now. I'm not sure. So they were um they were demoed when you did the right okay the old wings the old wings while well, the wings were stuck okay he had several small buildings on it that have all been all right all right um and in this existing survey it also shows is that a stone wall. A stone wall has that been removed as well? Yeah, no, that's still there. So if you want to, okay, if you want to your envelope, oh my, envelope. you can see the big plan. The big plan. Mm -hmm. proposal. It's, it's very lightly uh, shown on this plan. The stone wall is still. Yeah, yeah no way. Sure. Um. Actually, if we go back to our set plan then. So I assume um, it's not shown on your plan there, but on the survey again, that the area that has the easement for um, CMP is this piece between 236 and your property line. Is that right? This got to be a lot to the CMP. Yeah. Okay. Is everybody at home? <clears throat> I, I actually have one of the questions. Is there anything else you do? You anything? It's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. The applicant okay. came in. Well, not the applicant, but we did have a meeting on this side already. So we've already done extensive, extensive research and pretty cut and dry. Um, can I ask, is there any water flowing through the property? Uh, in terms of uh, utility wise? Or... No, no, I mean, sorry. No, I, I'm sorry. Like, you know, a um, growth or a stream or. Uh, there are no brooks or streams that were located on site. Uh, okay. There are two uh, small, or you know, I know there's drainage. There I know there's huge amounts of drainage in front of this event. Yeah, so this uh, this one dotted line on the right hand or the uh, eastern portion of the property is a wetland, and there's also one small pocket towards the back of the property and the remaining land. Uh, but no water bodies. Lord's, Lord's Brook is on the other side. The other so, side. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the other side of the right of way, you mean? It comes down on this, the south side of Lord's Lane before it crosses over. That we're just we have okay. extension on the south side of Lord's Lane. Gotcha. Okay. Just checking. What is the total square footage of the three different lots? So the total square footage of it is about eight acres. Um, of, each, the three, of each lot, I guess. Uh, so each lot is around two and a half acres. Just that, right? uh, with uh, the remaining land being slightly larger than the other two, but uh, we're looking at 110,000 square feet, 109,000, uh, an acre is 43,560, so about two and a half. Can I ask on lot two where you have, um, you've, I assume this is wetland, right? Limited wetlands. Is that actually going to be buildable? Is that enough in the corner or one corner or the other? Because the road, I assume people are going to drive in off Lord's Lane and the road there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so uh, the scale of the plan being um, one inch equals 50 feet, you know, there is approximately 200 feet on the, okay. uh, the eastern side of that wetland. So okay. there should be. Is there a setback from there? Uh, from wetlands? Yeah. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know without, without looking at the ordinance. But... Because it's not a big growth, it's not going to really come into play. Okay. All right, that's it for me. Anybody else? You answer. Great. Thank you, Austin. Thank you. So are you all set? So um, the board should um, either A, if they have more questions, they can have them come back for a sketch plan, a second sketch plan. 
but the board should at this time, since there was no questions, um, send them to preliminary. Okay. Do we need a motion? Um, you don't need a motion. You just need to put it on record. Okay. Uh, can we all agree to go on record to accept uh, the sketch plan and move on to preliminary hearing? Great. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Very well done. Have a great evening. So yeah. I will um, be in contact for yellow yeah. yeah. plan saw. And then we'll put it on that agenda. Okay. Good. Thank you. Have a great Thank you very much. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We are on to old business. Um, and we are going to be discussing the preliminary plan um, for SB 23-001 LTE properties. It's a three lot subdivision at Seven Lords Lane. And it's Nate, right? Yes. Thank you, Nate. So in front of this packet, I just want the board members to know that you will see um, a letter for action agent to Nathan can um, speak on behalf of LJE properties as the owner is out of town. It's warm. Not here. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't tell me exactly where it is. <laughs> it wouldn't be appropriate to stay on camera anyway. <laughs> So um, I have to admit, I don't remember if we had questions from the last <laughs> meeting that we expected to answer, but I do have some comments already. But if you have things that you wanted to um, address that came up at the last meeting? Um, the only thing that uh, Tom had indicated was that you needed some extra lines for signing and yep. that everything else looked good. Okay. Um, I'll do my best to uh, uh, represent them. All right. So um, do any other... Uh, board members have comments or questions? I, I guess I, I, I'd like a clarification um, in the findings and facts. We're not there yet. Okay. We're at preliminary plan. All right, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Okay. No way. Yeah, I guess we have to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I live down the street and I go by this place all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I was convinced that Lord's Brook goes through there. I looked on Google Maps and there it is. Mm -hmm. I looked on the city tax map and it also indicates that Lord Brook goes through that property. It's not on your plan. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand why. It got mentioned in our last meeting. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you mean labeled? What? You mean labeled or? I, I mean indicated in any way, shape, or form. In fact, in the findings and facts, and maybe this isn't you, it also says there's no wetland and I think there is because I remember it being pointed out. And actually, I think that is in fact labeled. <clears throat> so there's, I'm a little worried about that. And, and it means that um, the property is, Lord Brook is contained in the shoreland and slope district. Mm -hmm. And it means there are certain setbacks in play mm -hmm. that um, you have to adhere to. Um, I mean, I had um, indicated with the drainage flow areas, just little arrows. Okay, but but this is that, the this is supposed to be a site survey, and you're missing yeah. sort of a key element on it. Um, well, so I have it kind of wanders and it actually disappears. The okay. brook kind of disappears. It was kind of marshy, so I just kind of identified it with the uh, the drainage arrows. Um, but uh, I mean, you're talking about literally the two banks and more 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 uh, definition on that. Is that what you're saying? Well, um, it's 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 a brook. It's listed as part of our ordinance. Mm -hmm. It means that it has to be indicated on your survey and that, you know, we have to have some indication that, you know, before we prove it, that um, any anything affected by it will be a part of our conditions. Okay. So, um, and here- here's I mean, the, I could do that, certainly. Well, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Mm -hmm. um, here's, I mean, I'm happy to, Hold on, let me just see if I can get this the right size now. So here's the city tax map, the town tax map. Yes. And here's 236, here's mm -hmm. Lord's Lane, here's the extension we just talked about. Yep. And there it is coming through there, which means that on your property, if I line it up, it, it actually seems to be like fairly prominent going through and out this back section here. Mm -hmm. So, and if this is it, right? Um, it actually come, come, comes in right there. Okay, and comes, comes in comes here. Across okay. and across. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, I, I, I can really do that. 
Okay, I, I'm sort of surprised it wasn't on there to begin with, I guess. Um, well, I, again, in the, the midsection, in the middle, it kind of disappears um, because it, it flows out. Um, identified the deepest parts, unfortunately, by stepping into it, but um, um, it was so marshy there, it, there's almost a, not a distinct I understand. Uh, I understand it, it, so, it flows uh, or doesn't flow at, at different times. We have yeah. thousands of brooks around us all it's sort of like that, but in okay. the spring, it'll be there. And uh, Yeah, I better yeah. hurry up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Thank you. Sure. Any other comments? Yeah. yeah, I have. Oh, hold on. We'll get to you. Wait, let's, let's uh, finish ours, and then we're going to hear from you. Okay. The question that I have is that <clears throat> in the final, oh, no, no. sorry. Yeah, I ran into stuff for Sorry. All right. If there's no other questions from the planning board, we will ask the public if you would like to speak. Yeah, I'd like to know um, this is the preliminary map that we've got. Uh, do the circles represent the buildable area of each lot? I know those were um, just sites that Tom had asked me to, to see how they would fit. Um, okay. Just as a, as a generic site, it wasn't. It's not specifically just buildable. He, he had walked it and he said, here are the areas that I think are the best. And okay. just and just give me a give me a circle there that that gives me that dimension so that I know what I can, you know, what I can envision okay. usable. Yeah. Okay. So that's basically that would take care of any setbacks from the brook, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 100, 100 feet from the high water line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which we don't know because it's not spring. Right. Okay. After the well, after the last storm, it probably is running pretty good. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Um, okay. I guess I guess that's all. Okay. Any any other? I mean, I, I could add the setback line. To show you know literally well, I, where I, it is. I really think you should. Yeah. Okay. okay. It, it's not just these aren't the setback lines. No. That are defined by the. Book. That's the wetland. No. Yeah. Oh, that's just that's... the wet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the setback would um, be a hundred feet beyond that. Beyond that. Yeah. Sure. And actually, the shoreland protection, shoreland and slope district, has actually a, a sort of a two hundred fifty foot right. setback, but you're allowed to build within a hundred feet. So. Right. Yeah. I'm not entirely clear on myself on. That distinction, but you're allowed to build within 100 feet of it. There might be other things you're not allowed to do within 250 feet. Yeah, just just one more thing. Um, on this little plan, there it looks like a right of way and a driveway coming off this. Are those? Is that the yes. right of way to the cemetery? Yes. Yeah, so the the cemetery um, is listed. It's in the deed that says that access is supposed to come from 236. Yeah. Say where? Um, that's the logistically probably the best place for it. Um, so that's where we decided to place it. Okay. Um, sorry, where whether, is, sorry. Oh, sorry. Finish. I'm sorry. Uh, whether whether people would actually use it there or another place on that lot, you know, that would be. Yeah. Sure. Well, they've always used ours. They've always used ours. Parking out. Oh, really? And walk yeah. down our lawn and. Oh, yeah. And I would prefer it coming to see that. Is that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, was, that was kind of established yeah. when Ham Agency was looking after the cemetery. Uh, the previous owners of 15 Lords Lane mm -hmm. left them parked there because there's no viable way to get a lawnmower across. The right, area. right. Mm -hmm. can, can I ask where the cemetery is on the on your plan? Um, there's a, a top, little crook. There's right. a little crook. 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 Yep, that's it right there. Yep. But it's not on your property. It's on the other side, or it's rather it, or it's still it's owned by the. It's between, it's between that property. The old places and ceramics property at the Lane. Yeah, it's at the bottom of ours. Okay. Hmm. It was odd that the 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 access was specifically said from Harold L. Dow. That is sort of odd. Uh, which well, is yeah, yeah, which was and if it's going to be fine, two thirty six as you mentioned, you can't no, no, get a they're going to put an easement in this little edge here. Is that what that is? That's the second one. Oh, maybe that would get you to the third. Oh, this, sorry, is this your easement? That little line, I think yeah. it's the line yeah. that, yeah. that, 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 that
through the cemetery. Yes. But it's through a marquee area that may require something yeah. to allow you to get a lawn or a yep. nature yep. thing to it. Yeah, that's what the deed is, it says. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Any other comments from the public? I don't think so. Thank you. Any more from the planning board? All right. Okay, what is our next step? So I think that we, we can't accept this, obviously. Well, you guys can do to or not do, but this isn't a final plan. So I think you should accept um, preliminary with the modifications asked. And when they come back for final plan, everything that you've asked for tonight could be on that final plan. And then you could accept it at a later meeting. Great. You're not ready to do that, I don't yeah. think. But that's up to the board. Um, so let me see if I can just summarize. We really need more distinction around Lord's Brook where it comes in and, and having it labeled and shown. Yep. And um, if you could label the easement or the right of ways are also there, just a little more language and verbiage would be great. Yeah. And I also indicators mm -hmm. of what, if those are your buildable lots, I guess. I don't know if you will need those or not, but that's a community. And also outline the 100 foot setback. Yep. That would be great. Is there anything else anybody thinks we need to ask for? On the is it in the map one point? I don't think it is in the first. No. no. <clears throat> Certainly in high drainage area. Yeah. Is there access from 236 that's not marshy or will need development for that third lot at the end? They will have to get a okay. DOT and approval and because it's so a state road in order to put a driveway there. But that's the plan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That be evaluated. Yeah. No. Okay. It'll be in our condition place soon, but they have to get approval before they can. Good. Yes. Um, so I just want to clarify you're asking that the plan show <laughs> building envelope of each lot as well because of the wetlands. Is that what you're asking for? Yes. Well, so you need to be specific. Yeah. So that would be front, front yard and side yards and all that. Yeah. One more thing. Yeah, please. Is it going to be part of this? Lot number three to establish a right of way that's accessible to the well, cemetery. I, I think this dotted line is what is, is that what is already in the D, Nate? It's in the D, but it's not in the Um, it's I was wondering if it's it, going to be part of the uh lot development to make make it accessible. So, mm -hmm. can I can I ask is, is the deed in the packet? Yes, hold on one sec. Let's see if we have the deed and see what it says about the right one. If it's not, I can get it for you because it's not. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll take Nate's word. It's not in there. <laughs> it's not in there. Okay. So the deed says that there is a right of way or an easement? An easement okay. to get to the um, from to, 236. To the, to the um, cemetery okay. from 236. Okay. That, uh, interestingly enough, it says by foot and vehicle. Okay. <gasps> oh, that's <laughs> Well, back when that was written, weren't well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what it says. Um, um, okay, and <clears throat> un undistinct. Um, so it, so it, it does sound like um, where the brook goes through and that you've delineated is sort of wetland, so that wouldn't be possible to drive a truck up to the, which is why they've been mowing along the other way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I can certainly speak to Tom and well, and see if there's I, uh, a, a better way to resolve that because it's. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know what to say about that because I mean it's enforceable if somebody wants to enforce it. This would it have to then right. I'm not sure it's on us to enforce it. Um, on the other hand, part of approval it might be making accommodations to make sure it you know the letter of your deed is true and that people can access it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that would look like. Yes. I'd like to say that just it's not really that abstract because we did have two families. One that came down from what was that place, Bolton, Bolton. and someone else from what was that girl just south of Forum. Forum. Yep. You know they came down to look at Lord Se Lord's Cemetery, Lord Cemetery, the Lord Cemetery. Mm -hmm. So um, and people do. I mean it comes in phases, but in the summer, mm -hmm. Lord's family people do come, mm -hmm. but they come through hours. So. You know, especially when we're going to have three extra neighbors, it would be nice if we didn't have all the other people coming as well. Mm -hmm. So if there's an official access, if it's all being developed, it would be a good thing. Hmm. But at the minute, I don't know, it would be very <laughs> difficult to get up there. And as far as mowing the cemetery and things, we do it. 
And that's very nice of you. So uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. But it's um, always an idea and all like, oh, we've got a little bit of we'll bring out notes for you. Don't worry. Um <laughs> so I don't know um if we want to ask the town attorney to weigh in on whether we can require that it somehow be made accessible if the deed has it in it. That's not, I don't think that's really our job. It doesn't have to go. The deed's the deed. So whatever the deed says has to be. Um, we can ask Bill what he's going to say to go by the deed. Go by the deed. Yeah. So I guess, I guess, you know, it, it would be that it has to be made accessible somehow if that's what's in the deed. Mm -hmm. But that's not why you're here. So that's not our particular job. Yeah. And it's, me representing Tom, I don't know what that's he's a, got. That's a good enforcement offer. thing. Yeah. We'll have the code we'll enforcement that, officer yeah. weigh in on that later. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank you. That is excellent to bring to our attention. I appreciate yeah. that. And um, we are going to then, I think you have, are you clear on what we've asked for? Yes. Yeah. I had put a note about Great. Jonah Well doing the wetlands. I didn't realize that that was referencing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I because it is part that. of our, yes. Okay. Um, we don't need a motion. We just let's say preliminary is over. Come back. Okay. Uh, get our calendar for next time, and we're good to go. All right. Thank you yes. much. Thank you. Going back to my agenda. I believe that. I believe that in public hearing discussion, that was it. Right? Okay. Uh, I believe we have concluded um, projects. Are there any member comments? Would anybody like to text Greg and tell me he doesn't have to? I already have. You have. Great. Okay. Wow, this is so exciting for me. Um, <laughs> nothing? Going once, going twice? No? Great. Uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Woohoo! Look at that. 40 minutes. <laughs>